Hi everybody, so today we're going to look at synchronous generators and we'll be looking at the typical phasor diagrams for lagging and leading power factors and then we'll do two examples, um, one of a lagging and one of a leading. So today we'll, we're going to start with lagging power factor and then we'll compare that with a leading power factor, see what the difference is and then we'll do an example of each afterwards. So to start with, you always start with your reference phasor when you're drawing this and this is normally V and that equals usually 1 PU but it could vary, usually operating at the rated voltage. Um, next you'll find out your, they might give you the power factor rating of the generator um, and from that you can work out your phase angle which is phi which is this angle here and this is i down this length here and something to remember I'll draw it here just to make it nice and clear is this here will be j x s i and this is 90 degrees here so this is always 90 degrees from this line so if you were, if this would be a straight line here so that's 90 degrees. This will be 90 degrees from here. And then you have your excitation, which is E here. And then the load angle, which is delta, which is here. So that's for a lagging power factor. For a leading power factor, it's a little bit different. This is V, say 1PU again. So again, phase angle phi, which is your current here. So as you can see in the lead lagging one, the current is lagging the voltage by this angle phi. And on this one, the current is leading the voltage again by this angle phi. So this will be whatever the magnitude is of this. So then that's J X S I again. And again, this here is 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees from GXSI. And then there we, we have the excitation again. And this angle here, this whole angle is angle delta. And this tiny little angle here is angle phi. So we grab it. We'll look at some examples. So that's the basic phase of diagram. That's how they'll, they'll look. So then if we look at, um, start with a lagging power factor example. Okay, so let's say we have a, oh. Loud. So, lagging power factor. So let's say um, in the question it says uh, V is operating at its rated voltage. I is operating at, um, let's say, 80% uh, of its rated current. Excess equals one PU and power factor equals um let's say um let's do it again. Yeah, so power factor is um no point no point eight six. So you make that eight seven. Okay. So then the question might be um, find the load angle, which is delta, and also find the amount of excitation required for this operating condition or something. 
So we know the rated voltage. So if it's operating at rate, its rated voltage, um, it'll be working at one PU. So that's your reference phaser. So if you're not familiar with the per unit system, um, head over to um, wildervct.com or check out other other videos and um, there's a few examples of how to convert normal values into per unit values. So we can we know power factor is 0 0.87. So power factor equals cosine phi. That means your angle equals cosine to the minus one. Your power factor. So the angle in this case is 29.54 degrees. So that's this angle here. So it's this angle, that's phi, and that equals 29.54. And this is I here, which equals 0.8 PU. Oh yeah, so I, in this case, is 80% of the rated current, which is 0.8 PU. So it's 80% of 1, which is 0.8 PU. So then you'll have your 90 degrees from so 90 degrees, I'll draw that a bit better, at about 1 PU. So you'd normally have a scale on here, so if you were in an exam situation you'd put a scale on, say 5 centimetres equals 1 PU. Obviously we're just guessing in this case. And that's your excitation. So that's J X S I. So this length here is excess times 0 0.8. So that'll be 0 0.8 PU. So that length is 0 0.8. Then this is your angle delta. So what we need to do is we need to find this angle and also find E here. So what do we know? We know this is 29.54. You know this is 90 degrees so and we know there's 180 degrees in a triangle so if we say 180 minus 29.54 minus 90 which equals 60.46 degrees so if this side is 60.46 here we know this needs to equate to 180 degrees which means this angle here is 119.54 degrees so now so in trigonometry this the hypotenuse this line here is c this opposite here is a this line here the adjacent is b and the associated angle so that would be angle b this where angle delta is, is angle A, and this is angle C. So from that, we can apply what's called law of sine, at uh, cosine, and that states C squared equals A squared plus B squared. Minus 2ab times cosine to the angle c. So that's how you find this length here. So c squared equals, so it'll be 0 0.8. So this angle, this length here is 0 0.8 squared plus 1, this bottom one, 1 pu, so that's squared, minus 2. 0 0.8 times 1 cosine 119.54. So c squared equals 2.42. So to find c, you go square root 2.42. So c 
equals 1.5583 here. So the excitation equals 1.5583 here. Then to find the angle delta, we can use what's called the law of sines, which states A over sine A equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. So we know we want to know the angle A, so we need this one. So we've got A over sine A, and we know this length here, which, and we also know this here. So we can put C 1.5, so we'll change this to 0.8, which is this length here. And then we're using C, so 1.558 over sine 119.54. So then we have this, which equals 1.79, so 0.8 over sine A. So then we go 0.8 divided by that, so sine A equals 0.8 over 1.79, and then sine A equals 0.44, and let's put a bit more room, we'll go up here, so then A equals sine to the minus 1, 0.44, A equals 26.54 degrees, so that's angle delta, which is A here, it's the same angle, so it's angle delta equals 26 five four degrees so that's the angle delta the load angle and also a calculator so now if we look at a lagging a leading power factor so for a leading power factor so for the question let's say um it's operating at it's rated voltage So V, which equals 1 PU, I also equals 1 PU, XS equals 1 PU, and a power factor of 0 0.8. And then the question is, again, find delta and find excitation required. So we know the power factor again, so you do what you, we've done before. So angle phi equals cosine to the minus 1, 0.8, so V is 36.86 degrees, okay. so reference phase there again is V, which is 1 PU, so then we know it's 36.86, so this time, remember, the current is leading the voltage. So, yeah, that was. Not working. That's I, and this is angle phi, which is here. So angle phi is 30, so this angle is 36.86, so it's just way up here. And then again, we know this is 90 degrees, and this is 90 degrees also, and that's J. X, S, I, which in this case is 1 times 1, so it equals 1 PU. And then here we have E. And then this whole angle here is, that's angle delta. 
So this tiny little angle at the bottom here we know is 36.86 degrees. And this triangle here we know this is 90 degrees. So let's find this angle. So it will be 180 minus 36.86 minus 90. So that angle is 53.14 degrees, this one here. And again, we have the hypotenuse, which is C, the opposite, which is A, adjacent, which is B, and then this delta angle, which is the same as A. This angle here is B, and this one is C. So again, using law of cosines, where c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine c. So c squared, we know, is, uh, sorry, a squared, which is 1 squared, b squared, 1 squared again, minus 2, 1 times 1 cosine angle C, which we calculated to be, that's it there, 53.14, 53.14, C squared equals 0 0.8, so to get C, 0 0.8, square root, 0 0.8, C equals 0 0.89. So that's this, that's north E equals north point eight nine three U. So that's E as well, remember. So then to find angle delta, so finding delta, we use the law of sines. If C is A over sine B equals B over sine B equals C over sine C. So again, we'll use A and C. So we know A over sine. So we know, sorry, that A is 1 PU. So we've got 1 PU there. Over sine A equals C, which is this line here, 0 0.89 over sine this angle here, which is 53.14. So that means 1 over sine A equals 1.11. Put this one down. So that means sine A equals 0.9. So that's 1 divided by 1.11. And then we have A, which equals sine to the minus 1 over 0 0.9. So then A equals 64.15 degrees. So that would be this angle here, which is angle delta. So delta equals 64.15 degrees. So now we've found delta and also found the excitation. So that's it. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, for more information, you can pop over to worldofetc.com and also subscribe below for some more videos. Thanks.